Hi, this is Tammy Whitten from WomenManagingStress.com. Sometimes in our relationships, we may feel like our partner has distanced from us. And when that happens, it's noticeable. At first, we may think, maybe I'm just imagining things, maybe they're just having a busy week at work, and that may indeed be the case. Sometimes it tends to go on for a little bit longer, and we may be a little nervous about what to do about it, or maybe we've tried and it hasn't worked. Maybe, maybe we've done that, fallen into that pursuer distancer pattern, and it's backfired a little bit. So if you're looking for ways to connect to your spouse, there's a couple of things I want you to do. The first one is I want you to look for openings. You may want to do that for a couple of days before you try the next part. And with those openings, it's going to be, hmm, maybe that's a time that I could say something. Maybe that's a time I could try to do something. So once you find out those openings, the next part I want you to do is I want you to try to extend some invitations. That may be, hey, would you like to go for a walk with me? Hey, I was just about to go make a cup of coffee. Do you want one? They're simple, daily invitations, nothing big with that. And the third thing I want you to try to do is to extend appreciation. Show recognition. You know that text you sent me today just made my day. Thanks for calling and asking me what I wanted for dinner. That was really nice of you. Thanks for making dinner. Thanks for taking the kids to school. Thanks for making the bed. Show that appreciation to them. No one ever gets mad over compliments or people who recognize our efforts. So those are the first things I want you to do to try to connect to your spouse. So look for the openings, give invitations, and show thanks and appreciation. And as you try those things, you'll gradually see a softening and they'll start to reach out just a little bit more. Good luck and take care.